We are joined here again by Professor Alain ben Mayer, an expert on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and senior fellow at New York University School of Global Affairs. Good to see you again. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Given the early exit polls, who's likely to form the coalition government and which parties are likely to be in it? Well, the likelihood at this moment is that uh, the leader of the Kadima party, Tsipi Livni, will be asked to form the government if she, she, man if she maintains the, her lead roughly about 31 or 32 members of the, Israel, the new Israeli parliament. On the other hand, we have to keep in mind that Netanyahu may be able to muster such, uh, such a coalition government because the number of those who are from the right of center may, may be enough for him to be able to form such a government. So right now, it, is, it, it looks like the president will be asking Kadima first to see if she can form the government, and should she fail, then he will have to turn to Netanyahu to do that. Well, if the Kadima party is successful and they move forward, what is that going to mean for relations on the part of Israel with its Arab neighbors? I think it's very important. Most of the Arab state would like to see her uh, leading the new Israeli government. She has been negotiating directly with the Palestinians. She supports the two-state solutions. She supports direct negotiation with Syria. So from their perspective, she will be the far more preferable uh, candidate to, to lead Israel the next uh, three, four years. And from the American perspective, what do these election results mean for the Obama administration and their efforts to negotiate peace? I think it's also very important. Although the Obama administration will have to deal uh, whether it's with any uh, Israeli prime minister, and all is going to depend to what extent the United States is prepared to put the proper pressure on Israel to, to move the peace process forward. Uh, but certainly dealing with Tsipi Livni will be easier than dealing with um, um, with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the head, the Likud uh, party leader. It was interesting, over the past couple of days, we saw a very close tightening of this race. Very much so. We, we thought uh, that uh, Likud will forge ahead, but uh, there was a really, I might say, an upset in the last couple of days. Tsipi Livni the, was able to um, actually capture a greater number of votes, and perhaps she will, would definitely seem like she's going to be in the lead. And there was a significant number of undecided. Is that typical? Uh, quite typical, in, in specifically in the last few years. And many, of the, many Israelis basically made the decision just as they entered the, 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 poll, the, the poll. So this is exactly what happened, the, the polling station, that is. And, and I, I would say about maybe 10, 12 percent decided just in the last 48 hours who to vote for. Alam Ben thank you very much for coming in and speaking with us. My pleasure. Thank you.